hello guys welcome back to my channel um today i'm going to start uh the virgo season the tarot readings for the virgo idols and of course we have to start with the golden magnet with bts uh jungkook so yes let's do this um i actually have been pulling cards for jk uh during my lives and i believe i did not so long ago i did a reading a friendship reading between him and Taeyeon so so yeah is um i try not to read that often uh for for individuals um because you know they they are energy just like we are they're human they have energy so i usually like i wait a little bit until i read for them again so so please if you have uh, in the future recommendations to read for him again I will wait a few a few a few months to come back to read for him again or another association that he's included in. I know he's very popular. I know people want him want me to to read for him and other people, but you know, I have to take uh, a few times a, a few moments to respect his energy and not to tap into his energy all the time whenever I pull cards. Um, so yes, let's begin with the cards that he got. He got the Ace of Wands, um, the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, the A, the the Strength card, the Two of Cups in reverse, and then the Temperance. And from the Oracle, he got the card of um, Mars in Capricorn Authority. So yeah, very very beautiful um i don't know why but i felt very like tempted to grab this deck that actually the this deck it's very it's very special because um is is i wouldn't call it a tarot even though it has in the title of the name of the deck it says tarot but it's more like an oracle uh but yeah this deck is called the psychic tarot uh for the heart and I don't know why I was like, oh, this is very fitting for JK because, I don't know, he gives me these vibes of very emotional uh, person. Um, so, yes, this is very interesting. Um, let's start with the interpretation. Um, actually, I'm very curious because he starts with the Ace of Wands. And, and I think that what, the last time I did an individual reading for him, I believe for his solo, he finished the reading with the Ace of Wands. So definitely his solo was going to be this very passionate new beginning, you know, he was going to put a lot of force, a lot of passion, a lot of like, you know, masculinity into it, you know, um, a lot of in individuality, but also, you know, a lot of <clears throat> strength, you know, a lot of um, inner power, you know, motivation, like, and, and definitely Seven was, was very... Um, you know was very energetic you know it was um, all about him so so definitely yeah and now again we start with the ace of wands that in here this card is called new vitality uh but then next to this we have the ace of pentacles in reverse so i'm like what is he not achieving you know the, the first thing that came to my mind in this with this ace of wands and this ace of pentacles in reverse like there's something that he's, he sort of feels like he had been failing to achieve. That even though he definitely puts a lot of passion and intention into working things out, there's a sort of like feeling of failure. You know, there's this feeling of like, I cannot accomplish this. No matter how, how hard I try, how much willpower I put into this, um, it just doesn't work or I just don't see the benefit of it. I believe this definitely has to do with associations. Um, I don't think uh, this has to do with a lover, a potential lover, a, a relationship or someone in a specific because in here I didn't get a, a card that shows me someone in a specific. So I don't think it's is love or romance related but i definitely think it has to do with relationships and connections with others either this has to do with uh with the team members or with the people that he works with or even with the fans there's a sense of like him 
really like acknowledging that he puts the best of his ability and his his passion to sort of satisfy the others and I think he's left with this feeling of like you know it's it seems like our bond is not that strong after all you know after all the 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 efforts that I put into it you know um and, and it's funny because at first when I got this Ace of Pentacles and, and the key word is straightening bonds. So I was like, is this it? You know, this is why I'm like this, that I don't think it represents um, the Ace of Pentacles energy like completely because this key word definitely, it sort of reminds me of the Two of Cups or I don't know, the Lovers. Um... But yeah, in this tarot, in this deck, it's called a straightening bonds, and this came in reverse. So there's something about him wanting to straighten, make bonds stronger or more reliable or more down to earth. Because Pentacles, it talks about being down to earth, you know, and 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 you know, being uh, like sort of building an association or a very successful union with someone. And feeling like like this is you know that you really um, that that it really has its you know its results that it, and that the results are tangible, you know. So I think that definitely there's something about him sort of like getting a reality check from the cards, like somehow being like you know you shouldn't expect that much from the others. You know, because maybe he definitely puts a lot of hopes, a lot of dreams, a lot of aspiration in others. And eventually it it's like it it's always there's this downside, you know, like this disappointment of like, oh, I don't think this was as successful as I thought, you know, so... Um, definitely, I think that, that he shouldn't, like, there's something about the cars telling, telling me that he shouldn't, like, sort of, like, measure his success depending on what the others, how the others react to him, you know. And, and definitely I can sense a very strong influence of his Venus in Libra in here, you know, sort of wanting to please everyone, but but feeling like, Oh, no matter how hard I try and no matter how passionate and how, you know, how, um, how bold, how, how strong I was, you know, how daring I was, how vital I felt, how much vitality I got of, out of this that I created. It seems like we really don't, don't get each other, you know, you know, like you people don't get me. So there's this sense of like, oh, okay, so our, our bond maybe is not as strong. In the middle of the reading, we have the card of the Strengths card. So, definitely that in this deck is called uh, Control, you know. And and I think that, that, yeah, this keyword of Control, yeah, it could resonate a bit with the Strengths card. Sort of him, like, practicing self-control. Um, I think that he's sort of, like, learning to master his emotions and actually not get too emotional and not take everything to heart you know being like okay i gotta breathe you know i gotta let it go i have to be forgiving i have to be understanding like i shouldn't take these things personally you know he's sort of calming himself down you know being like i i shouldn't you you know react because i think that that sometimes um people don't understand how uh, like like, you know, um, I, I don't think it's not that people don't understand. It's just that, you know, um, JK can get upset, you know, and actually he can get very angry, you know, very angry. It's not what you see on camera. You, He actually has, you know, feelings and he has a temper and he has a personality uh, and he has emotions, you know. So in here I, I see him more like practicing self-control. You know, and be like, you know, I better do not answer to this. Like, you know, because when you get upset, is this, and you, and you get reactive, is this sort of like never ending cycle of like, okay, if I, I sort of let my anger take control of me and I respond like this, 
if I feel comfortable with doing this, I will probably continue releasing more anger. So there's something about him taking a sort of a, a, a pause and be like, you know, I, I shouldn't let this get me. You know, I shouldn't let this get me. I shouldn't. Um, I should be strong. I should be compassionate. I should be more understanding. You know, he certainly is a very wise guy. He knows himself. Um, but like, like I tell you guys, definitely there's like a lion inside of him. He definitely has a temper. He has uh, strong emotions, strong feelings, you know, intense emotions. He can get upset. And there are moments where he actually, he's like, you know, I better do not, you know, do not get that upset because I could say some hurtful things. And if I say hurtful things, I cannot go back from this. So in this case, he's very wise. He's a very wise guy. Um, but, but yeah, then we have the two of cups in reverse. So there's something that I think that, that in the next month, JK is going to sort of be working on himself. Uh, because I think that this all this self-control and all this uh, sort of be forgiving and being understanding of others and other people's actions uh, somehow has turned connection with others sour. You know, I think that he's sort of like, you know, he's trying to stay centered and be understanding and be intelligent. But there's there's something about, you know, the two of cups in reverse that that it sort of lets me know that there's this disconnection, you know, like in his attempt to be forgiving, he sort of is like not feeling very good in the connection with others. You know, he, he's sort of like a, a bit, there's a part of him that is a bit resentful is because of all the effort that he puts in trying to forgive people, you know. Um, so there's something about him sort of holding a bit of a grudge, you know, being like smiling on the outside, but inside he's like not letting it go. And, and somehow he's like, OK, the next time I do something, I will have my sort of like, you know, I, I will have a sort of like, I will not be 100 percent like open to connection. You know, he, he will sort of co continue delivering things about himself as an artist, but he's going to hold back from, you know, sharing that much or being that vulnerable on camera. There's something about him learning about this, um, that, you know, that he is human, you know, and that criticism, it does get to him, you know, even if he smiles on the outside and even if he says that everything is okay and that he loves everyone and that, you know, that, th that there's this feeling of, of like, okay, yeah, we, we, you know, I will forever love you. There are some things that he cannot forget. And these things sort of ruin the, the connection that he has with others. It ruins it, you know. Um, it sort of, it makes things awkward afterwards, you know, because he sort of tries to be polite, but there's this awkwardness of like, that he really is not that happy or satisfied with people around him. I don't know why in this reading I get that he had been feeling very disappointed at people lately, you know, uh, in general. He's like, oh, you know, like, I'm sort of like understanding that, you know, not everyone is 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 uh, reliable, you know, there's something about, I don't know, there's something about pettiness as, as well. There's something about him, I don't know, maybe he expected support, support from certain people and he didn't get it uh, or he got it and he was like this is it this is all that you're doing for me I thought we were friends you know and like there's something but I, I think that here with the two of cups there's also this this lesson in here about him learning to to let go of expectation like I mentioned at the beginning of the reading about the others, you know, he, he sort of, is, it's a very Venus in Libra guy. He, he sort of lives for the connection, you know, even though he's very independent and he does things by himself, he always like is looking for the validation at the end of the day. So here with the two of cups and the card then next to it, that is a temperance, 
there's a, a lot of healing process for JK in the, in the next uh, months of this year. There is about, you know, understanding that, yeah, sometimes people have differences, sometimes people don't like each other that much, you know, that he can actually, like, have, um, you know, a feeling of, like, yeah, really, I'm not connecting with you. Like, I really, I don't like what you're doing. I don't resonate with what you're doing. I don't want to hang out with you. You know, I don't like you. You know, and, and for him, for, for JK, is like, I, I don't know why I think that he's a sort of guy that he... He he tries to be polite and, and to give a sort of harmony with people, but things have happened to him and and his his sort of reality, this is why the ace of pentacles is in reverse. Because he he needs to get like a reality check that uh, people are awful. That even people that you thought you knew are awful and, and maybe are egotistic or maybe have an ugly side to them or have an ugly attitude towards you. And he's like, you know, like I can forgive, but I don't forget. And this is his Mars in Scorpio, definitely. I can see it in action. But then we have the temperance, that the less cars the temperance definitely lets me know that JK will continue to be the sweet guy, the very loving guy and a spiritual guy. I think that he's sort of leaving this to the universe or to God or to whoever he believes in. He's sort of leaving it to faith. He's like, okay, okay, if, I'm, if I feel like, you know, relationships are challenging for me and if I feel like, you know, I cannot understand people, I cannot connect with people, there's a lot of misunderstandings, you know, there's a lot of like disconnection, I will just let it be. I will not to try to fix relationships in my life. Like if they don't work, they don't work. And if I don't feel comfortable with them, I will just move on. But sort of like letting it go. This is why the, the temperance card, the key word for this card is heal. So definitely he is going to go, go through this sort of healing process because he needs to embrace peace again. You know, he needs to embrace peace in his mind. He, he needs this, you know, and he's a very wise guy. He's a very spiritual guy. Um, I definitely can feel this, that even though he got, he, you know, he could have gotten a lot of different cards, but he got this very spiritual card. So I think that he definitely is someone that he's always looking at himself. And he's like, oh, you know, I could be better. I could do better. I could change. You know, I don't know about the others, but what I do know is that when it comes to me, I can change. I can be better. So definitely I, I admire his, his energy. He is on the right path. Um, I don't see much about, you know, activities. I don't see other people. I just see him like going through this sort of like very um, spiritual process, you know, where he's sort of learning from this. Um, you know, sort of opening his eyes to, to reality and grounding himself and not so much like, you know, putting people on pedestals, people that don't deserve it, you know, people that are disrespectful. He's, of course, not fighting anyone, but definitely here with the strength card in the middle, he had to hold his anger, you know, he had to sort of like, you know, sort of put, it, put the lion on a leash, you know, he, he was like, okay, I better do not react the way I want to react because I'm going to regret it later. You know, he's a guy that he knows that he, if he he lets the lion out, he's going to regret it afterwards. So he's like, you know, I better just smile and nothing else. Um, and then from the Oracle, Mars in, in, in Capricorn, yeah, this is also a, a, a nurse sign placement. Uh, there's something about him also like becoming a sort of more in, in, more comfortable with the idea of him being out in authority in his life, you know, sort of like him making decisions for himself and he's sort of like demanding what he wants for himself, you know, sort of feeling comfortable with feeling like an authority and feeling like, you know, he needs more respect and sort of like taking, uh, taking the lead of his life, you know, and being like, okay, yeah, I'm the authority of my life, you know, I am you know, I am in control, I am in control, so yeah, you know, I'm going to do what I want to do, 
And this also, you know, with, with Mars in, in Capricorn, he could potentially have some differences with authority. You know, there's something about, I, I think that also when I think about this that I mentioned at the beginning about him having some disagreements and issues with people in general, this could be also with CEOs or with, you know, managers or with people just trying to sort of baby him and being like, oh, you know, we think that we want to advise you not to do this, but you could do this. And he been like, you know, he been much more assertive and much more aggressive and much more like, you know, not not wanting to back down and being like, no, I want this to be done the way I want it to be done. And I'm not going to negotiate. I'm going to be stubbornly uh, like, uh, like, you know, authoritative because I want this. You know, and I think that also probably these solo activities, you know, and everything that he's doing is sort of letting him assert this sort of authority and dominance over his life. And he's is sort of like, you know, like, like teaching him that he should feel comfortable with asserting like dominance and authority and, and authority over uh, his matters because if he doesn't do it, uh, that he will continue to follow the lead of others and do things that has nothing to do with what he really wants to do is more about pleasing others you know so i think that definitely the card of authority is very wise it has a strong a strong message and it's sort of inviting him to be um, the authority in his life you know to be more uh, more relentless in this case you know and to to face things to face uh, his activities to face uh, you know, his, uh, his brand, um, his talents and owning them and being like, yeah, I am the owner of all this. So I will rule my life the way I want it. So yeah, guys, this is all I have for JK. I hope that you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.